and instead we've been chased out of our park up by a madman on a motorbike and now we're trapped <laughs> in the van because it's so windy. It's so windy, yeah. Oh. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. With our little pup river, we're driving our sprinter van Sophia east across Europe and into Turkey. Join us for a week of van life where nothing seems to go to plan. And he was like... <laughs> mm. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. Welcome to the foothills of Mount Olympus, the highest mountain in Greece and the seat of the gods. We found a little spot to call home for a few days, tucked into the trees and perfectly situated to explore some famous waterfalls. Or so we thought. Good morning guys from the foothills of Mount Olympus. This is like campfire from previous campers. Does anybody know what bone that is from? No idea. There's a dead end road and there's a waterfall and everything. But this is like, a, yeah, just like a little path through into this open bit where obviously everyone comes camping and eats wild animals. So the best part about this little park up is that it comes with its own natural shower. How beautiful is this little lagoon? The colour of the water is amazing, it's just like this vibrant green. Oh yeah, I was meant to tell you, so over the weekend when we were at the beach, which is where we left you at the end of last week's video, me and Ben were swimming in the water and River started swimming properly, like she just went for it and was swimming out to sea and around us and just enjoying it. It was amazing and I don't know if she's going to do it in here, but I think because we were in the sea for so long and she was getting used to it, she just went swimming. It was incredible. I'm going to put some footage in there now so you can see. Where are you going? Okay, this way. Yeah, good girl. That's not even too far away. Thank you. Honestly, it's such a proud moment. It was like it's going to be me and River for a morning dip. I have no idea how cold it is. I was really hoping for a hot sunny morning that this would be nice and refreshing, but it's quite cloudy. So it's not the warmest, but we're going to go for it anyway. Can't not can you when it's somewhere like this. It's an amazing way to start the day. Heading back to the van for coffee and breakfast, but I can hear what it sounds like the ringing of cattle bells, <laughs> and we all know our experience with those. Whew. One day I'll get Ben to join me. What's happening? The goat shepherds bringing all the goats through. And there's a couple of dogs as well, but they're all right round our van. <laughs> Come on. Well, <laughs> Now there's goat poo everywhere. Can you hear him call? Can you hear that? Can you hear the shepherd? It's amazing. What? What? Oh. <laughs> what was all that about, River? What was all that about? I forgot last night we were sat doing some work about half nine ish, um. and there was a weird noise outside the van. It sounded like the dinosaurs on Jurassic like Park. You know when they go like. So we don't know what it was because we couldn't see anything when we opened the door. So tonight we're going to put out the uh, night camera and see if we pick anything up. I'm yeah. so excited. We've only ever picked up a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
a lot of you ask how we find our park ups. A lot of the time we use park for night, sometimes we use Google Maps satellite view if there's a particular area that we want to stay. Now this spot we saw just as we were driving along the road, it's down this little track, as you can see here, kind of tucked away out of the way of everyone. It doesn't look like it's anybody's land, there's no signs or anything, it just kind of stops here. It's just basically this area here. There's just been a motorbike gone past and it went past and like stared at us and then came back and then drove in here, looped around, had like a really angry look in his face and then drove off. So actually like came to check us out, but didn't say hi or anything. And now we're feeling a bit like, should we really be here? But there's no signs to say that we shouldn't be. And there's a spot just about 200 feet down there, which is on park for night. So I know that it's not unusual for camper vans to be staying here. We're feeling a little bit unsure now. We keep hearing really loud bangs from over that way towards the sea. And we're assuming it's something military, but Bella's just said, what if the gods are real? And what if it is Zeus coming down the mountain? Well, just imagine it. It's been a shit couple of years, isn't it? I wouldn't put it past, you know, something out of the ordinary happening. Just imagine though, if all those stories like were true. were true and they've been sleeping for this long and then 2021 coming into 2022 is when fucking when the greek gods emerge when the greek gods emerge and <laughs> rain down hellfire there we go again i think it might be i don't I know what it is you. it sounds like thunder but it's not thunder it's like then it doesn't sound like it's, an explosion. It's it's kind of a mixture of the two. It's like controlled thunder. It sounds like it sounds like somebody chucking a rubbish bag into a metal bin, but a massive really, bin. Really loud, yeah. That's what it sounds like, and that's just what it is. So it's just down the road from where we're parked. Not only is there a beautiful waterfall, there's also a church apparently. So we're going to go and head there now, have a quick look before we get rained off because it's looking pretty grey at the minute. church is just sitting in this gorge and it's a little bit creepy. <laughs> Babe, are you trying to hide scare me? <laughs> it's the sort of place that you take all your photos and you go back to like tweak them and you see somebody stood in the corner or <laughs> somebody slightly I leaning or a shoulder. Or face in the window. Or face in the window. This is where you leave your candles and you make a prayer, but it is completely waterlogged and all of the candles are out. They're ominous. This is like the chapel area, I think. And then there's this little corner where there's some spring water coming out and it says holy water. And it's like this huge shrine area where the holy water's coming out. Okay, so Ben and I are currently having a little dilemma that we haven't had before. And that is, early on today, or this afternoon, a motorbike came past and just like stared at us, which is fine. He then came back again and stared again. Then he came back a third time. I actually came into this little track where we are, rode like around in front of the van, was staring at the van. We were in it and I was gonna go out and be like, hi, but he was like, he had a face like this like really angry um, and he wasn't very old probably like in his 30s and then just like rode off again and then he went past again a fourth time and bear in mind this is just making us pretty like uncomfortable and I don't think there's anything wrong with us being here like technically anyway that was a few hours ago and it's now pitch black outside we've just had dinner and he's gone past again and like I said earlier it's a dead end down there there's literally no reason to be down there and given like how interested or mm, he was at the van earlier we're just not feeling like 100 percent about this spot anymore but it's now pitch black and we're literally we're pretty far into the foothills of mount olympus we're not like i think the nearest town is a 20 minute drive away so we're not 100 percent sure how we're feeling about this place now the last thing i want to do is be going to bed and like half 11 12 o'clock hearing that bike again because it would just really i wouldn't sleep at all i don't think well, if he comes past again, I'll just go out and have the torch, and then, you know... Scare him off with the torch. So, as you can probably tell, we are gonna move. 
just something just doesn't feel right about him and I actually talked about it on the camera earlier when he came on the first time but I didn't think I was going to put it in and I was like we're just being dramatic and it just hasn't felt right at all with him and we're just going to trust, move on, then, trust our guys. It's 8 o'clock now, don't want to like be moving on at midnight or anything so we're going to head 20 minutes into town and hopefully find a park up there. Just, we're just driving like back towards the town now and we're just realizing how pitch black it is here how there is nothing around it has been raining this evening so why a bike has come all the way up to that park like park up the only reason you drive all the way from this town here up to that little car park where we were which yeah here, was if you're bringing up your partner and you're having a bit of night fun yeah <laughs> That's the only reason yeah, why. Not on a like not on a bike at night when it's raining. It just yeah. is weird. Is this the car park? Is it? Yeah. Oh, cool. A quick recap on last night, guys. We decided to move in the end because the guy that kept coming past and who drove into where we were staying and everything just seemed a little bit dodgy. So we made the decision rather than have a sleepless night, you know, is he going to come back or is it somebody else shouting at the van or we decided to move on. We've come down to the town and we parked up in a very nice quiet car park outside yeah. the archaeological centre. One of the things we get asked a lot is do we feel safe wild camping and I just want to say that that is the first time since we started van life yeah. that we've ever left because someone's made us feel uncomfortable and I think it's really important. A lot of people talk about trusting your gut instinct and you'll know that feeling when it happens. I think what was the strange bit about his behaviour was him actually, I'll do an impression of him, he came in on his bike into where we were staying and he was like, mm. and then drove off and he looks really angry. So our plan this week was to potentially climb Mount Olympus or at least go and see the waterfalls that are in the gorge on the way up to Mount Olympus. However, as you can see, our weather window isn't too great. So what we're thinking of doing is heading over to the Haukadiki Peninsula to go and find some beaches. Yep. We also want to go and see the city of Thessaloniki like a lot of you recommended. But again, the weather isn't great for the next few days. So we're potentially gonna do that later on we might do Mount Olympus on our way back through Greece. Um, so, but yeah, we're going to make a move today, have put a bit of a drive behind us. Yeah, yeah, just move along the coast a bit. Yeah, and, just um, maybe trying to escape the rain. Is that right, River? You can't see River, but she's here at the back line. She's like, why are you talking to the camera and not giving me any attention? Mwah. Good morning. Mwah. Good morning. You okay? Oh. Okay. Let's hit the road, shall we? What difference from we hit the road, days ago when it was like scorching sunshine. Mm -hmm. drive a little bit more enjoyable I posted on my Instagram for you guys to send us a song and we will rate it out of 10 and it will just give us some interesting songs to listen to on our long drive and we've had some pretty good ones so far we've had a lot of rain related ones given the weather this morning we've had it's raining again by super tramp we gave that about a 6 out of 10 for the comedic value we've had it's raining men by the weather girls that got an 8 out of 10 because it has all the karaoke vibes we've got a sing along had some Van Morrison, somebody suggested the Peppa Pig theme tune, which is pretty random. But yeah, if you're not following us already on Instagram, I'll put the link in the description down below. You have reached your destination on your right. We found this park up literally on the beach with like white sand and blue water, and it just feels a little bit too good to be true. I hope we can stay here. Well, my, well, we'll stay at least all day, can't if we? If somebody moves to say move us, but it's what a spot it's this beautiful. is. Wow, it's a little bit windy today, though. So we're at another amazing beach park up, stuck inside the van because it is so windy today. 
it has started to die down i think we're gonna go and have a little explore see what's around here this water looks like it would be amazing when it's calm so i've just been planning our next week while we're down here in halkadiki we are on there's like three little prongs that go into the sea we are on the middle one called Sithonia. it's meant to be really laid back there are meant to be some incredible beaches here so we're here a little bit earlier than we anticipated because of the weather change up on mount olympus so we're going to be exploring this little peninsula for the next week or so which i'm really excited about We didn't wake up to the calm weather that we thought. In fact, it's even windier than yesterday and there's been kite surfers out this morning. Rather than be stuck in the van, we're gonna go for a little jog. Are you ready to go out? Are you ready to go out to the sea? Let's see what she does. I'm gonna open the door and set free. Ready, River? Look how excited she is. Despite the wind, we made the most of this beautiful white sand beach and the turquoise seas. After a weird week of things not working out, sometimes you just need to jump in the water and let all of your worries wash away. It is amazing. It is like bath water and it's so clear. It's just a, a little bit choppy, so it's like impossible to swim out because you're just getting pulled back to shore. Look at the grey hairs! <gasps> How many grey hairs you've got? Are you being serious? Yeah. Do you know what? I don't know if you can see it under here. I've having, I'm having to shave my beard shorter because I'm getting a lot of grey in my beard now. Nice. Oh, you rock the grey. But I don't realise how much is in your hair. Oh, Jesus, Marion, <laughs> Joseph. Mid 30s, it all goes downhill. Gonna get a wig. No, it's fine. We're trapped. Ah. We're trapped. This has very much been a week where things have not gone to plan. We should be either hiking Mount Olympus or swimming in loads of waterfalls. And instead we've been chased out of our park up by a madman on a motorbike. And now we're trapped in the van because it's so windy. It's so windy, yeah. Oh, it just, sometimes it just doesn't go to plan. No. Um, that's life. And do you know what, on this little peninsula, there's nothing to do but go and enjoy all the beaches, which it's really hard to do when it's blowing a gale outside. Unless you're a kite surfer, in which case, it will be heaven. Yes. So it's been a bit of a weird week this week, but I hope you enjoyed following along and we shall catch you next Sunday. Bye guys. Let's say bye River. Yeah. Say bye. This way, look at me. Yeah. Bye guys. God, they they graze them <laughs> everywhere. Anyway, I'm rambling. I want to go back to work. What was that? Was that was that it? Well, I don't know. I don't think that was it. No. God. Are you trying to dry face? <laughs> dry your face. Hey. Oh. Ow. River. Come here. Come here. Come here. Some water. Ah. No, I don't know if I can.